Hello everybody and welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. That's right, a new game on the channel. Hogwarts Legacy, I have been waiting for this game ever since I heard of its existence. And I've been wanting to play a game like this ever since I first read the Harry Potter books. To be able to play an RPG with a character creator, open world in the Harry Potter universe. That has been something of a dream of mine ever since I started reading the books and started playing RPGs. And finally, here it is. And we have our Hogwarts acceptance letter. So, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are pleased to inform that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on September 1st. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree of the reasonable restriction of, under of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eleazar Fake to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, M. Weasley, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Alright, so here we go. And we have a character creator, excellent. Now, let's see. Um, do we want any default? Or what kind of default do we want? First of all, do we play as a male or a female? Mm. Normally in RPGs, I play as a female. Just because uh, I like female characters better in RPGs in general. This one looks all right. Yeah, that one looks cool. Yeah, sure. Then face shape. Let's see. So many options. I think this one looks all right. Skin color. Um, I think this is about right. Although we can go too light. How dark can we go? Hmm. I think since we are supposed to be in England, I think a lighter st skin tone, something like this. Excellent. Do we have glasses? Well, I don't have glasses, so my character won't have glasses. Hairstyle. All right, let's see. That one's cool. That, I already liked the first one. Excellent. Girls, not a big fan of. I like the short hair as well. Hmm. Hmm, dreadlocks. <laughs> Pretty cool. I like ponytails. I have pretty long hair myself. Ooh, that's nice. Mm, that's nice as well. I think I'm gonna go for this one, which is pretty, pretty long. A little bit messy. I like it. Uh, so hair color. What are we going to play as? Purple is cool. Green is cool. Red is also nice.
this one? The darker purple or maybe... Oh, I like this one as well. Yeah, this is the one. Excellent. Complexion. Well, we are under 17, so not too much complexion. A little bit of rosy cheeks. Mm. That one's cool. Freckles. I'm not a big fan of freckles. Maybe one or two. Yeah, something like this. Do we have any scars? Well, it would be really weird if we had scars. Though they always look cool in RPGs. Ooh, one through the eyebrow. That one's nice. Yeah, let's do the eyebrow one. Eye color. Oh, wow. Ooh, the bright blue is cool. Ooh, the purple matches the hair. I'm gonna go for purple. Eyebrow color. Should match the hair a little bit as well. This one maybe. Could also be just black. Or pink. I think black is okay. Uh, eyebrow shape. Oh wow. A unibrow. <laughs> hmm, I think this one looks cool. But this one even. Yeah, that looks cool. All right. Then the voice. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Of course, a female voice. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That was quite something. It was wonderful. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That was quite something. It was wonderful. I, I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, select your difficulty. Let's keep it on normal for now. First name, last name. Wow. Who are we going to be within this universe? This is actually the first game that we're playing. That we get to choose our own first and last name. So first name, we're going to be Rick, because that is my channel name. Last name, do we have any famous wizards that we want to be related to? We are Ravenclaw, so maybe we are related to Luna? Alright, I had a little quick look at the Harry Potter wiki page and I selected one at random. Hopkins is the one that came out. So that is what we are going with. Brick Hopkins. Excellent. You are a witch. The choice will determine your player character's dormitory. Excellent. Let's go. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to second be reckoned when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me for the time we Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. 
Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try, <laughs> gave quite the fright to some theatre goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Was that excellent? Here we go. Warner Brothers Games. Traveling companion. A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? Goblin Rebellion. I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, Ooh, what's that? I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's the glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Ooh, interesting. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Oh, wow. <laughs> Didn't expect that one. The dragon. Ah, and now we can see the festivals.
Nope, I am a squirrel. Are you alright? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Alright, healing potions. I'm not gonna lie, the dragon model was a little bit disappointing. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir? <sighs> Where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. So the dragon was a little bit janky. As someone who's been playing Dragon Age Inquisition for years, um, being used to the Dragon Age dragons, yeah, that was a little bit... Hmm. But for the rest, the graphics look awesome. Very good, actually. Facial animations so far, pretty spot on. The hair looks good. Nice. So, what are we doing here? And where are we? Oh, wow. That looks cool as hell. How far did that porky take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The porky was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Right. Quest Mind started. The path to Hogwarts. Oh, we can jump. Excellent. Water looks all right. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Oh, you clipped right through me. Excellent. <laughs> but sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? <laughs> Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Oh, sorry. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Tap RT to perform a basic cast. Oh, tap it, not hold it. Okay. Excellent. 
Use your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same thumbstick by disabling camera relative targeting in the settings. Use your camera to select an active target. Okay. Okay, and hold A to continue. Whoa, we're sliding. We're sliding. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. You are glowing. Oh, your targets. Haha, <laughs> nice. Your one was improving with every car. Excellent, excellent. All right, that's not too bad. Automatically select the target. Just have to tap. All right, now what? Oh, back up. Up there. Back up. All right. Anything over here? Is there anything in these bases? Doesn't look like it. Oh, a chest. Okay, I opened it. Nothing happened. We're close now, it's just ahead. Pretty windy out here. Steady yourself! Repair! Nice. I like how my ponytail blows in the wind a little bit. A really good detail. Almost there. And we have a pretty decent range. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Right? The minimap shows your surroundings with your arrow in the middle. This yellow marker is your current objective. Press and hold arrow up. To toggle quest objective details. The path to Hogwarts. Professor Fig and I have traveled via Port Key to remote cliffside in the Scottish Highlands. We need to explore the mysterious ruins that we suspect the Port Key was meant to lead us to. Okay, excellent. So that is where we came in. Cool looking statue. This may have been his home. All right. <laughs> Animation is cool. Too bad you stop walking when you fire a spell. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What indeed? What's this? Professor Fig! Ooh. Ooh. someone have conjured that enchanted stone here and how is there a room behind it what room i don't see anything there's that glow again 
Like the glow on the port key container. Yeah. Oh, we can just investigate, okay? <laughs> what in Merlin's name? Wake the goblin. Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Oh, we're inside it now. This looks like Gringotts. While searching through a ruined castle in the Scottish Highlands, I happened upon a strange glowing doorway made of crystallized stone. Suddenly, Professor Fig and I found ourselves in an ornate vestibule. We remain unsure of what we will find. Looks a little bit like Gringotts, don't you think? With the marble and the rocks. And the goblin. Hello? <clears throat> Ahem. Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, where are we here? <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. Well, <clears throat> precisely. Oh. One of the, the earliest key. faults. Mm -hmm. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. Inside the cards, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many vaults are there in Green Vaults? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to Vault Number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Ah, it was a private entrance to Gringotts. You want to take a breath? A what? Oh. That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Oh, vault wow. number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. What's he wearing? That red thing around his arm was pretty strange. Yeah, see? That's what I, I said. I saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what oh, was that? I missed that. We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. He 
here we are. Hello, Professor Fick. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Hmm. What's that? Just a reflection of the light? Okay. Oh, there's something over here. Damn it, I missed it. There was a marker on the right. Maybe we get a chance to look at it when we get out. Vault 12. Vault 12. Ah, we're still outside. What is this? Search. Yeah, it opened, and then? Anything inside? Hmm. Maybe I just missed the notification. There was something in the top right that I couldn't quite read in time. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key, and then close the door. Wait! Ah. Best of luck. <laughs> Great. Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, I have to do patterns. Steady your wand with L and guide it along the simple the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbol's path. Okay, so press A. A. Ah, okay. Alright, we have learned a new spell. Left D-pad to cast Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. <coughs> After entering the vault, we quickly realized that it was empty. I saw a glowing symbol on a hidden door. The same symbol from the port key container. When we tried to open the door, we suddenly found ourselves transported to a vast expanse of darkness. We believe we are still in Gringotts, but this is certainly no head. ordinary vault. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. the glow it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about are you all right yes sir i'm fine you seem to have caused the floor to change what the hell? that statue what, what statue 
I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. I think that is a book, yeah. That looks to me like it was a visual book. Uh, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Hmm. Right? You've acquired the wand lighting charm Lumos, which has been automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Hold RT and tap Y to cast or extinguish Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. That can be good. The Protego wire. Nope, that's not good. Oh, missed that one. <laughs> review your objectives, objectives to reveal the way forward. Okay. Okay, we have to protect you from incoming attacks three times. Okay, that's once. Oh, too late, damn it. Come on, attack me. Stupid thing. That's two. And that's three. Okay. And now we destroy them. Alright. Okay. Stay close. We need to heal a little bit. <laughs> Good. Lumos. Hmm. Find Professor Fick. All right. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Follow the wisps. Activate the statues. Lumos. Right, right, so uh Revilio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Uh, Lumos. Lumos. Okay, you are activated. You are activated. And you are activated. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. 
Oh, don't go. Oh, remember. Hold Y during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counter attack. Enemies take extra damage. Okay. Come on, I'm holding wide. Yeah, yeah, I know my objective. I need to do this counter attack. Kill them. Oh, too late. Right, I'm almost dead and I'm out of healing potions. And the sound is really loud in my ear. Oh, we're back. Lumos. <laughs> Excellent. Something is pulsing over here. Let's go. Hmm. What's that? Uh, there you are. How did you? We're outside the vault now? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive Ooh. for viewing memories. Then those I must wonder. be memories. Yep, they are. Follow my lead. too well i wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow it will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as i can 
Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have a Ooh. I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Hmm. Uh -oh. The wolf didn't like that. Ooh, that looks cool. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. We're at Hogwarts? In the forest, maybe.
There it is, Hogwarts Castle. Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. Excellent. 